When you're getting started with animation, you probably start by setting keyframes to get the look that you're going for. Maybe you apply easy ease or adjust the motion path. For a while, you might be satisfied with what you're creating because you just made something move and that's pretty cool. But then you start noticing the work of more experienced motion designers. Maybe you can't put your finger on exactly what is different between your work and theirs. Eventually, maybe you start to notice how buttery smooth their animations are, how believable their motion is, and how much life and personality is infused. By comparison, your work looks dull or just like something is off. At least that was my experience. Hey, I'm Megan Frias, and I call myself an explanimator because I specialize in creating educational animations. I didn't go to school for motion design. I actually studied physiology, then got a master's in creative technology and design. Despite that second degree, the majority of my animation skills are self-taught. It took me years to learn and practice the skills that I use today as a professional motion designer. So I create classes and tutorials to help you do the same, but much faster and more easily. So if you're in the situation that I described a second ago, what do you do from here? Before you can learn to animate something realistically, you need to recognize how things move in real life. This is where math and physics get involved, but don't let that scare you away. Even if you've never taken a physics class, you intuitively know a lot about physics just by living on earth. You just need to apply that to your animations. You don't need to dust off a textbook or go back to school. Instead, every time you go to animate something, ask yourself why it moves. Is it moving because of gravity? Is it self-propelled? Is it reacting to something? Or is it a combination of factors? What motivates this movement? When you know why something moves, you can figure out how it should be animated. Let's look at a simple example. If something is falling because of gravity, it accelerates towards the ground until it crashes into the ground. In order to adjust your animation to reflect this, the tool you need to learn is the graph editor. I have an entire class explaining how to use the graph editor to level up your animations. The class is called Smooth Moves and it's exactly what I needed when I was first getting started as a motion designer. The link to learn more about the class is below this video. You can check it out on Skillshare and even get a free trial if you're a new member. Hopefully this video has gotten you thinking more like a motion designer. Remember, ask why something moves to figure out how it moves to figure out how it should be animated. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy animating.